Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today's lecture is about nanomaterials applications and in this lecture we will see how the nanomaterials are used in various fields and walks of life nowadays in many aspects of our lives more and more materials with new properties are required to ensure further development of mankind the appearance of nanomaterials has given a great impulse to further discoveries in various fields of science nanomaterials with attractive electronic optical magnetic thermal and catalytic properties have attracted great attention due to their widespread applications in physics chemistry biology medicine material science and interdisciplinary fields some basic distinctive properties of nanomaterials are a very small particle size the large surface area accelerating the interaction between nanomaterials and the environment in which they are placed as well as absence of point defects resulting in the strength of nanomaterials 10 times the strength of steel These properties explain the fact that even a gram of nanomaterial may be more effective than a large number of ordinary matter. Today nanomaterials have been used in such areas like production technologies, military engineering, nuclear power engineering, electronic equipment, protection of materials surface, medicine and biotechnology. It is important and prospective now to use nanomaterials in composites as components of various functions. In the production of steels and alloys, adding nanopowders helps to reduce porosity and improve the range of mechanical properties. Manifestation of superplasticity in nanostructured aluminium and titanium alloys makes their use promising in the manufacturing of complex shape details. and for using as a connecting layer in welding different solid state materials very large specific surface nanopowders promote their use also in the field of chemistry in a number of chemical processes in the name of catalysts among military engineering ultra fine powders are used in a number of radar absorbing coatings for aircraft created with the use of technology called stealth and promising types of explosives carbon nanofibers are used in special ammunition which is intended for the scrapping of the enemy power systems which is called as graphite bomb the beginning of nuclear power engineering was given by the ultra fine powders these powders are commonly used in industrial processes for the separation of uranium isotopes prospects for the development of nuclear energy by bringing the particles to the nano state are mainly associated with a decrease in the average consumption of natural uranium this happens mostly at the expense of increasing the depth of the nuclear fuel combustion to do this scientists are exploring the possibility of the creation of coarse grain structures of nuclear materials which can be porous and these nano materials will promote a high retention of fission products In some cases for reliable operation it is necessary to ensure the high water and oil repellency properties of material surface some examples of such products may be the car windows glass planes and ships protective clothing wall storage tanks for liquids building construction etc at present the titanium oxide nano particles coating with the size of 20 to 50 nanometer and a polymer binder have been developed this coating greatly reduces the wettability of the surface with water oil and alcohol solutions a number of areas in which nanotechnology is used successfully are as follows for example targeted drug delivery in a cancer therapy will resolve several issues such as protecting drugs from degradation and adversing interactions with the biological molecules also increasing the selectivity of drug absorption by tumor cells controlling of pharmacokinetics increasing bioavailability of drugs into tumor cells apart from the drugs nanoparticles can also deliver gene into the cells the unique properties of nanomaterials allow to produce various implants and dentures 
with the use of nanotechnology we can get safe biocompatible and du durable implants the development of nanotechnology in biomedicine due to improved technology helps to obtain the images characterization and analysis of biological material providing a high degree of resolution magnetic nanomaterials are an important source for the production of biosensors the most commonly used nanoparticles are based on the iron oxide coated with various polymers the surface can be modified by various biospecific ligands as well thus the shell protects the iron oxide nanoparticles from chemical interaction with the molecules of cells and tissues some nanomaterials are used also as electrochemical sensors for example nanotubes and nanoparticles for diagnostic purposes nanotechnology in electronics was given a boost by using carbon nanotubes they are not only able to replace the transistors but also give the revolutionary electronic circuits that their new mechanical and optical properties create flexible and transparent electronics the nanotubes are more mobile and do not hold the light in a thin layer so that the experimental matrix integrated circuit can be bent without the loss of electronic properties and other application of nanotechnology in electronics is the creation of new type of hard disks in 2007 the nobel prize in physics was awarded to peter dunberg and albert fert for the discovery of the giant magneto resistant effect or as some authors call it gmr effect on the basis of this effect it is impossible to create magnetic field sensors that can exactly read the information recorded on the hard disk with almost the atomic density similarly zinc oxide nanoparticles are used in electronics ultraviolet or uv light emitters piezoelectric devices and chemical sensors one more prospective application of nanomaterials is producing solar cells the solar cells that are made on the basis of nano wires instead of the traditional metal wires can increase 15 times the amount of energy received by a battery conductor nano scale has unique properties of the light absorption using nano structured materials in the manufacturing of the cell solar cells can improve their efficiency and also reduce their cost Similarly nanoparticles of silver have good antibacterial properties and are used in surgical instruments refrigerators air conditioning and water purifiers Likewise titanium nanoparticles are used as photocatalyst and sunscreen cosmetics for UV blocking pigments